everyone. <laughs> it's Renee and Monica. We're back. Yay! We're back to make some pad thai. And we are going to start off, even though the actual recipe does not suggest this, we're going to start off with the veg because we're doing um, zucchini along with our bell peppers. And they take a little longer to cook than the shrimp, which we're going to use as our protein. <laughs> So we are doing shrimp instead of chicken, which is what it actually calls for. Yeah, go for it. Let's throw it in. Um, and because we just thought we'd do it a little differently. You could do this with just veg. You could do it with tofu. You can do it with chicken. So it's really like whatever you like. Serve yourself style or, or please yourself style. Um, and as always, the it's gluten-free. And the instructions are on the back. Renee is getting on with the stir-frying here. We're going to use a silicone uh, steel core um, saute spoon Oops. to stir that around in our Epicure wok and this thing is amazing um, it's a beautiful wok it's ceramic coated it doesn't stick it doesn't like it's just as long as you don't use metal on it it doesn't scratch I'm told you can <laughs> we, do pancakes on you it. can do pancakes on it you can you can cook eggs I make amazing scrambled eggs in this thing and Woo! they don't stick so we're pretty excited about that. I absolutely love this wok. I use it constantly. Um, and Renee's pretty excited to try it out. I'm she doesn't have one yet. So uh, we're going to do that. We're going to add in some shrimp in just a second. Once these guys start cooking up a little bit. Oh, did I not do a very good chopping oh, job there? That's a great job. It's <laughs> a great job. Um, Epicure has a lot of meal packs like this, and so they come in a pack of three. They're ten fifty Canadian, um, forgetting the price American. Oh, the wok has a beautiful glass lid, which we are displaying for you now. La -di -da. Um, and this can go in the oven up to 450 degrees as well, which is awesome. It can also go in the dishwasher, which is really nice, although I love it so much. I like to wash it out because it's so easy to clean. Um... <laughs> So we have this pad thai. I don't make this one very often, and I've kind of forgotten about it because we have a couple of other Thai ones that are really good too. We have a red Thai curry, um, and we have a Thai stir fry, and they're they're really good sellers in terms of like you know they're very popular. We we sell out of them quite regularly. Um, we are going to do this with egg as it is uh, suggested, but we're going to do only half with egg. So we're going to do this a little differently. Renee doesn't eat eggs. I do, and I forgot that, and I already got the eggs ready <laughs> so we're gonna split it up with and without and that's one of the things I love about Epicure is that we have the option to kind of modify it as you like so we've boiled up some rice noodles they've been strained and they're ready to go they're gonna go in in a minute with the sauce so the sauce itself is here in the pot um, you mix it up with a couple tablespoons of soy sauce you can use your low sodium you can use your gluten-free whatever it is that you like in terms of soy sauce mm -hmm. <laughs> and she, I can have gluten, Renee cannot. So we have to be really careful with this one today. Um, so we use today a, ta uh, what is it called? Tamari. Tamari. I was going to say tamarind. Tamari, um, which is a gluten-free version of a soy. And we've got the sauce ready, and it's actually in a Heineken glass. And both of us keep going to drink it. <laughs> but uh, it's our sauce. It's our lovely sauce. So those are getting ready. We're going to throw in some uh, some shrimp, which we've de devined, de I don't actually know the correct term for it. We've taken the tails off. Taking the shells off. We've taken the little poop shells <laughs> off. Put it as a clean. And uh, I think we'll give this a minute to get ready before we start. Is it ready, do you think? I think we can put the shrimp okay, in. Okay, let's go for shrimp. Yeah. All right, there we go, little babies. Woo. In you go. Those cook so quickly, so if you want to do something a little faster, these are a great thing to do. Chicken obviously takes a little bit longer. And then we've got our beautiful sauce here, which is going to go in. And I, I love that the instructions are all in the back, because sometimes I forget what I'm doing. And we may or may not have had a, a cocktail or two in the process of uh, doing this video today. Sometimes so. I have a bevy and I forget where I'm at <laughs> in the recipe. It's always good to have the recipe Reading in the back. Is good. <laughs> And uh, as soon as this goes in, Renee is going to add a special ingredient. So you can look forward to that in just a minute here. The shrimp are going to be done really quickly. We may have to turn this up a little. What do you think? Sure. Yeah, let's turn it up a little. Um, so this goes in with the sauce as soon as those are cooked up. Um, and then we're going to do the, uh, the rice noodles in there as well. So I think we'll pause it for a minute just to make sure that we're not spending forever letting this cook and we'll come back to you and show you what it looks like. 
Okay, so we're there. Noodles and sauce going in. All right, there it is. Ooh, sauce time. And I said, oh no. <laughs> oh, use that um, I said it goes in, we put some soy sauce in here. We also put three quarters of a cup of hot water. So the sauce smells amazing already. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, so that's all in getting ready there. And we're gonna fill in our noodles. And shrimp, of course, we know we don't want to overcook them because they get a bit uh, chewy. Same with the rice noodles. And the rice noodles. <laughs> like a sauce. <laughs> so those were boiled for about five minutes. Woo! And this is looking good. That looks so good. This is a quite a big capacity wok as well. So it is going to hold, like, this is a full package of rice noodles that went in here. I can't, I don't know where I put the package, but... It's pretty big. It's, yeah, it's pretty big. So let's show you what that looks like. It's looking Woo! so good. Okay, so we're making another secret ingredient in. Secret ingredient. We have a little doTERRA essential oil because they are ingestible, so pure and clean. We've got a little cilantro here, so sometimes you don't always have some fresh herbage in your fridge. So you want to have a little herbage flavor. I'm going to put just a couple drops. It's a big dish. And then I thought, maybe a little drop of lemon or two. <sighs> Add a little freshness to the whole thing. There we go, gotta be careful they come out fast. And then we're gonna do a quick little flip around so they get <clears throat> nicely dispersed. And wow, that smells delicious. Mmm. So normally we would fresh. put uh, we would have put the egg in already. We're gonna pause it, take some out for Renee, and then I'm gonna add the egg in uh, for portion for me, and we'll show you what it looks like all plated up and looking beautiful in just a moment. Okay, so this is plated up. Look how good that looks, you guys. The smell, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. So we did actually put a little Ooh. fresh cilantro in there. We squeezed some lime on there, and this is gonna be well enjoyed. We are going to have ourselves a little feast. I added the egg into mine, so that one looks a little, well, you can't quite tell from here, but it looks a little more of the traditional um, style with the egg cooked right in there, too. So we're going to go enough for four eat it. Yeah, I think there's <laughs> going to be some leftovers. It Woo! is actually meant no portion for four, so uh, I don't know if we're going to be greedy or have <laughs> some leftover. Anyway, have an amazing day. Hope you enjoyed that, and if you make it, we'd love to hear about how it goes for you. So have an amazing day, everyone.